<laughs> well, we would be remiss if we didn't um, applaud the great work of my colleague Senator Hoven and my friend Debbie Stabenow. Um, this was this is uh, a train that was headed, I think, down the track uh, uh, towards re total repeal much too quickly without someone saying stop wait, understand that those of us who have for generations now supported cool country of origin labeling need a different path forward. Now, um, I, we would not be here, obviously, having had this discussion during the Farm Bill and been able to retain the country of origin labeling provisions in the Farm Bill. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the WTO. And so um, what's critically important is to remind ourselves why we have country of origin labeling and it's all about consumers having the ability to know where their food comes from but equally important if you spent a lot of time developing your herd if you spent a lot of time developing your product you have pride in that product and you ought to have an opportunity to express that pride in a label you ought to be able to tell people look this is beef that came from here and that makes a difference. And so um, I think with a voluntary system, it's obviously WTO compliant. Um, we don't know what the reaction will be necessarily if we pass it. But I think based on past representations that Canada has made um, it, to the United States, and I think also taking a look at the Canadian counterpart, it would be awfully hard and disingenuous for them to argue that the bill that we're proposing, this made in the USA <coughs> bill, was in any way a violation of the WTO. And so um, I kind of joke, my, my dad used to have an expression, he was a, he's a crossroad trucker and, and, or, or a uh, heavy equipment operator, and he used to tell us when we was teaching us how to drive, don't back up more than you have to. And so um, backing up, well, it makes sense, right? So backing up all the way to repeal is not an answer to meet the, meet the interest in the, and the, um, the interest of consumers and the pride of our producers. And so we're, we're proposing this. It's compliant. I really want to applaud um, particularly Senator Hoven for taking this on because I think that train was moving down the track pretty fast until he stepped up and said, whoa. And as a result, I'm only going to back up the truck. So. Yeah. <laughs> Until he, he stepped up and said, you know, we're going to speak on this side of the aisle. We're going to do what we can to stop um, this train from moving down the track too far. And, and as a result, we have a great bipartisan bill that we think we can advance and be successful in the United States Senate. So thanks, John, for your hard work.